Hi guys, it's Angela Bell. It's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, we're going to do some jelly printing. I haven't done jelly printing for like probably a month. Like, that's crazy. Not really though, because I needed to, um, I needed to like use up some of my papers. I kind of had way too much, way too many jelly prints, so. But, I am very low on metallic prints on black paper. So we're going to use black cardstock with, um, with what? With metallic paint. So I'm excited. All right. So, and this is, this jelly plate is, a, like about an 11 by 17 K, uh, cookie pan. And I made my own jelly plate. So I get to work two pages at a time. If you want to know how to make one of these, I will add the, um, a direct link on how you make this. Um, at the end of this video and it only costs like 15 bucks to make this instead of paying 75 80 dollars for one that's this size so all right let's get started all right let's just start putting color on oh you know what all right I was about to open one that was not open yet but we don't need to do that so all right so this is going to be all metallic paints I'm excited. So I just went through really quickly and I just started grabbing all my metallics. So this is going to be fun. It's going to be gorgeous. Did we do the gold already? Yeah, we did that gold already. Uh, what else? All right. Let's go with this. Oh, I know. I wanted to grab... I know I'm going to grab another color here in a minute. There was another color. I wanted to grab like a wine color. I thought that would be really pretty to, to throw a wine. It's not metallic, but I think it'll look good on black. It's, metallics aren't the only thing you can use for... Um, metal, let's see if I can bring this back here. Okay, no. Metallics aren't the only thing you can use on black paper. Sometimes some colors show up really good on black paper too. All right, I'm going to move this over. Sorry guys, I just need to reorganize myself for a second. I forgot I need to have a roll-off sheet. How can I forget my roll-off sheets? What am I thinking? All right, let me get some, you guys know for my roll-off sheets, or for those of you who watched me before, I like to use um, magazines magazine pages for my roll-off sheet. So let me grab some magazine pages. Let me rip some out. I had everything organized except for my roll my roll-off sheets. That's the only thing I didn't have going on. Okay. I'm excited to make some, um, do some jelly printing with metallics. I've been wanting to do that. I, I like, cause you know, you know how I like to jelly print. I don't jelly print perfect prints. I like it to make it look very old world, old wall. So it'll still be very old world, old wall, but it will, um, be with metallics and mixing that with my other jelly prints or my printables. It looks really good. So, all right, I have, I'm going to use a bunch of different things. Um, I have these. Um, stencils aren't they fabulous so we're gonna use stencils on here and they're kind of like paper stencils but once you put acrylic paint hits them it turns them into plastic so then they they toughen up so whenever you see a paper stencil pick it up because um, once you put acrylic paint on it it stiffens it up so all right, I'm putting all kinds of stencils on here. See? I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Right, let me just find one more thing I want to put on right there that's going to fit. All right, let's put this on. This is a piece of a placemat. It was a flower placemat. I got at Dollar Tree. And I broke it all up. Okay, so let's just roll all of this to get the impression in the plate. Now you could put a sheet on top of all this and roll it, but 
I'm not going to. Okay. Let's start peeling all this off. Ooh, this is going to be gorgeous. Look at all those neat designs in the plate. Beautiful. All right, just a second, guys. I got to... I gotta reorganize myself. I gotta put my black paper. I'll put it over here on this side. Perfect. I have to have a place to throw my. Stencils or whatever I'm using. Somewhere. All right. Beautiful. And we're going to stick with all of the, you know, the bronzes and golds and all those type of colors because that's going to match the rest of my jelly prints really well. Okay, so I'm using black cardstock. You know, um, I would rather use black paper, but all I have is black cardstock right now. So, what you can still rip up and put into your collages or your mixed media backgrounds. All right. So we're still trying to create that old world, old wall look, but with metallics on black paper, which is going to be beautiful. See, it always is beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks very Egyptian, very old world, but very Egyptian. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, love it. Love it. Ooh, look at this one. It looks very old wall and looks very Egyptian. Beautiful. Oh, I absolutely love that. That makes me want to do this. So we're going to do this right now. Oh, all three of these would be good. Okay, next I'm going to use this is a, a, a like a stamp. And I got this at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar or two. So I got two of them, one to stamp with and one for my jelly plate. So don't, if you can get a good deal, get stamps that you use for stamping. Um, this is an, this is like a, a texture plate. Isn't that cool? It's an Aztec uh, calendar. Here's another type of Aztec calendar. And then this is another one, another stamp. Picked this up at Hobby Lobby last year, I think. Good deals for like no more than two bucks. All right, so let's put some more paint on here. Oh, you know, let me try to grab that color. I wanted to grab a wine color. I think that's going to look really good. It'll look really rich with all these colors. Hopefully it's right here on top. Let me see. I swear I prepared before I came on here, but I just thought of it. Okay, is this the wine? I think this is it, the crimson. Yeah, this crimson, that's what I wanted. I think this will be really pretty with everything. Okay. All right. I think also, it's not metallic, but I think turquoise can look, was going to look really good on the black paper with all these colors. So, I know some people are like, shocker, you're using turquoise? You never do that. <laughs> I use turquoise all the time. Let me turn that upside down. All right. This was I got for 99 cents, regularly $3.79 last year. This year, they didn't have the uh, paint on clearance at the Hobby Lobby clearance this year. In fact, the clearance was, it was okay. It wasn't the best clearance. Um, when they clearanced out the art section, they didn't clearance out, like last year, look, I got these expensive paints. These ones are $5.99. They're um, artist grade, $1.49. They didn't do that this year. 
these craft paints. They they did some craft paints, but they didn't do them like they did them the year, last year. So I'm glad I I'm glad over the years I have just stocked up. So I'm you know well stocked for a while. Thank goodness. Oh, you know what? Let's throw in here some silver. And there's a lot of paint. And this is just some craft paint. Bulk art. There's a lot of paint on this um, plate. So we're going to be printing off this for a minute. I put a lot of paint on here. I didn't mean to put this much paint. The turquoise kind of dolloped out really heavily. Okay. What was I going to put? Okay, here we go. What was I going to use on here? Okay, so we're going to use this as. Isn't that cool? This Aztec. You know, let's impress this in here in two or three different areas. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. This whole thing is going to be this stencil. Exciting. I showed you all those other things I was going to press into here, but you know what? I just changed my mind. This is going to be beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of paint on there. Like I said, what caused me to have a lot of paint on here was the um, that turquoise when it came out. It came out in such big clumps. Which is fine. There's never really, when you're doing jelly printing, there's never any mistakes. Like Bob Ross said, just happy little accidents. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me come up close to you. Hopefully you can see that um, at, see the Aztec calendar. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that Aztec calendar there. This whole thing. It just looks so old wall, old world. Very Egyptian. We're creating old Egyptian walls. In fact, that's what I'll call this. Creating old Egyptian walls on the jelly plate. There we go. That's going to be the name of this video. Look at that. Let you look at it far. Let me bring it up. Phenomenal. Love it. You know what? Let's, um, I'm just seeing if I should, let's just, well, right here. Let's go ahead and make some more impressions into this plate because I see some areas that doesn't have very much impression. Well, it looks like there's not, and then if you really look at it, it probably is, but I'm gonna just press a little bit more. I see right here, I can see the um, Aztec clock up there, or the Aztec calendar. So I'm gonna leave that alone. We're gonna put this right here and right here. And what else are we gonna do? I got a little space. Got a little space, right? If this right here is a shower, is the, um, in the shower, so that you don't slide around. I take them and I cut them up. You find them in the uh, section where you get like all of the bath products and stuff. Like your loofahs and all of that. It's a shower mat, that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. I knew it was going to come out of my brain. All right. I got to get myself some um, black paper. Because when I collage or do mixed media backgrounds, I do like to use like um, printer weight paper, more like, or magazine. 
um, more than I like to use cardstock, but I, I'll still use cardstock and collage with it. So I gotta look out for some black paper. But black cardstock will do. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I'll come up close so you can really look at it. I love the bits of turquoise here and there. I know some of you guys also watch my uh, makeup videos I've been doing lately. I get just as excited about the makeup as I do about my mixed media. I just love them both. To me, there's no difference between doing makeup and doing art. When I do makeup, the canvas is my face. <laughs> Same thing. You know, you're just you're just painting your face instead of painting it on paper or canvas or in your art journal. So that's why I love it, I think. It's all it's all to me it's all the same. And your paints are your um palettes, you know? Eyeshadow palettes, blush palettes, lipsticks, nail polish. So if you like makeup, um Check out my uh, makeup videos. If you like doing makeup, a lot of good tips and ideas and different products I'm testing out and using. So it's a lot of fun. And I like to do a lot of contouring and highlighting, like how I like to do. And that's another thing I was going to say. On my, I do my, I paint, uh, I draw girls. And uh, I call them Angie's Angels. And there's a lot of contouring and highlighting in art. And especially on faces, right? So it's the same. I do the same way I contour and highlight my face. It's the same way I contour and highlight my girls and my art. In fact, let me show you something. I've been working on this. I didn't do it on camera, but I think I did. I did post it on Facebook, and I think I posted it on my Instagram. Make sure you join my Facebook, my Instagram. I'm also on TikTok now, and I'm uh, Angie Bell on TikTok. There'll be a clickable link. So I've been working on these. Let me show you. Let me show you, show you, show you. And so these, I'm going to be making prints out of these. It's a whole mixed media background. Which, you know, I use stuff like my jelly prints like I'm doing right now. Um, my printables. All kinds of great languages. That's what her uh, dress is in. It's different languages. And then this is collage. It's a bunch of scrap fabric I made the hat out of. And then I scraped paint all over it to make it look like some old dilapidated wall. And then here's the other one I've worked on. And she has kind of a different hat that I collaged a bunch of different, just it's all scrap fabric bits. That's all that is for the hats. Again, I wanted that whole old wall look like layers of history that have been painted over and over and over, ripped off, painted off, chipped off. I think I accomplished that. So those are going to be turned into prints, and then I'm going to turn those into some, uh, some journals, which will be on my Etsy shop. So I'm working on that series right now. And for those of you who think, God, you got a lot going on. Yes, I do. <laughs> I get bored really easily, so I need quite a few things going on at one time, or I will be bored. I know some people will be like, girl, that's overwhelming. But for me, it's, I don't know. I'm weird like that. Like, I need to have quite a few things going on. Okay, so I don't get bored. Oh, this is nice. I'm going to still do this one again. But look, very nice. I love it. Very old wall. Let's see this one. Ooh, I like it. This one I think I'm going to leave because I, I like it. It looks like just an old dilapidated wall. Egyptian wall. I really like it. If you can see really closely, you can see that um, 
Egyptian calendar right there. Or Aztec calendar, sorry. Yeah, love that. And this one we're going to, uh, this one's a good, a very good start. We're going to reprint on that one. Um, let's use some of this crimson. It's like a wine color. And what else we're going to use? We'll use this uh, antique copper. Instead of doing like perfect rows, I'm trying to just now go all over the plate so everything really marbleizes good together, well together. Um, I have this uh, metallic paint here in this tub. Let's use that. I haven't used that yet. And I need something to get it out with, like a scoop of some sort. I should have one right in front of my face. Yeah, I do. It's right here. I see it. Oh, this is even better. Oh, I almost poked myself with this real sharp calligraphy pen, but I didn't. Thank goodness. Take some of this and just slop this on here and there. There we go. I think that's going to look real pretty. Now, let's throw a little brown on here. I don't know if the brown's even going to show up, but it's a real dark brown. It may against everything else. Okay. So let's roll this all out. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Well, we're going to find out. I don't use that crimson color very often, but we'll see. We don't like it. We don't like it. No major. I've used it before and I liked it, but I did it in kind of a different way. Um, you know, let's do this. Let's do one of my favorite. One of my favorite. Um, the bath, the bath or shower mat that goes inside the shower. I cut one out to fit my jelly plate. So if you want to use get one of these from Dollar Tree, go to that section where they have like the loofahs and all like the bath stuff like that, and um, pick this up. Pick up two, so you can you leave one hole to fit your jelly plate, and then you can cut it up into strips like this. Like this is two rows, so it's two rows cut off down here at the bottom or the top. Um, you can cut off one row like this, or th this is the end of it. See how it's kind of rounded there. Um, I cut this one off in a square. So see, you, you get what I'm saying. You can have different, this is three rows. So then that way you can have different things to play with. Okay, let's roll this. Design in. All right, here we go. Let's see how we like this color. Like I said, I've used this color crimson before and I've liked it, but I haven't used it, I don't think, in this way. There's another technique on the jelly plate that I used it on once, but not once, quite a few times, but it was different. about 45 minutes. Oh, I 
kind of like that. Look. Isn't that pretty? I love it. That's a lot prettier than I thought it was going to turn out. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. A lot prettier than I thought it was going to turn out, so yay! All right. All right, let's throw some colors on here. This is a brown red, which is really like a copper color. Oh, that's the one I don't have opened up yet. Let's do this one. Okay. Let's throw copper and silver against each other. That'll be interesting. And then this antique copper. Kind of like a brownie copper. This will be pretty. Oh, this is real pretty. Love this combo. Plus, there's a little bit of that wine color still left on the plate. So, that could be really, really pretty intermixed with all this. And I like for my roll-off sheet that I have over here on the side right here, I like to use a magazine. And once I like the design on it, then I can tear this up and throw that also into um, collages or mixed media backgrounds. You know what I want to do? Let's take my favorite, the, the one more time, the shower mat hole with this color situation. I got that from this one guy I watch him. He, um, he likes to do, um, he has a basically a planner channel, um, but also he's a um, travel agent and he goes to Disneyland all the time and he shows all around Disneyland, all the Disneyland tricks and things to see at Disneyland and all, he shows all the Disneyland hotels because he's a travel agent. Um, and also um, he's a planner. He likes to do, uh, he loves planners. And he also, I think works with, um, Happy Planner. I think he's one of their, he's on their team. So it's kind of cool. And he always says, it's this type of situation. <laughs> so I got that from him. His channel is called Plan Your Truth. Check him out. You'll like it. He just went to Disneyland and uh, it's really cool. All the stuff he shows you, it's stuff that you don't know about or always see. So And then if you want him to plan your trip, he can plan your trip for you or help you plan your trip. And it doesn't cost any extra to use a travel agent. Disneyland pays, um, Disney pays, Disneyland pays, um, pays him. So you don't pay for that. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. And he, he does all kinds of trips, not just Disney trips. But that's definitely his specialty. He'll tell you all the good food, rides you never knew about, restaurants inside Disneyland you never knew about, restaurants outside of Disneyland, all the different hotels, all about the Hopper Pass and going back and forth to uh, the different worlds. And he's been to Disney World too. He, on his channel he has a whole thing where he goes to Disney World. So every couple of months he's either going to Disneyland or Disney World. It's really, really neat. I like his videos. He's called Plan Your Truth. Yeah, that's what his channel is called. Oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Very pretty. 
you guys as this wine color one um dries down i'm loving it more as it keeps drying i'll, I'll show it to you guys it looks really really pretty i'm liking that wine color oh this is pretty check this out isn't that gorgeous All right, let's um, let's just we have a lot on the plate, so let's just do another pull. Oh, I know what I want to grab. This is another one of my favorite things to put on the jelly plate. I'll show it to you. I have it right here at my feet. I love using this. It's the poppers, and also the poppers that you get in the kids section. Pick these up. They have different shapes and stuff. And then you can get this in the kids section too. Both these at Dollar Tree. And this is what they do Legos on. These are fabulous. You can get the big ones so it can fit almost your whole jelly plate. You get those small square ones. Those are fabulous. I just, I'd seen it peeking out right below my feet here in my drawer. I was like, oh yeah, I love that. Where's the other ones? I have more of those somewhere. I don't know. It's fine. At least I have those too. Always be looking out, especially at Dollar Tree, because you can get it for $1.25. Always be looking at different things that you can you can use as a, like, they call it a texture plate that you can press into your jelly plate. Always be looking for stuff like that. Either for free or at the Dollar Tree. Oh, this is beautiful. Just very old wall. Looks like some old, ancient, dilapidated wall. Love that. Just a second, something just, there we go. I'm in the middle of making this video and a number uh, appeared on here. If I answer it, um, it turns off my camera. So you don't want that. I love this, but you know what? We could do one more design over this, but this is pretty. Let's do one more design over that. And I gotta grab some more paper. So let me put you guys on hold. Are we back? Yes. You know, let's try this turquoise color. It's more of a sea foamy turquoise. More like a robin's egg blue. I think this could look really nice. Let's try some of this. Oh, I wonder if I did, you know what, let's do both. What the heck? Let's live, let's live, let's live uh, to the most. We're gonna use two different shades of turquoise. A lighter and a darker. Ooh, uh, we'll bust out with this color again. Oh, okay. I need to put that away because it's not open and I keep trying to use it. There we go. And we're going to use this antique copper. Wait, is this one the one? Yeah, it's kind of like a brownie. That'll be pretty. And what the hell? Let's just throw some silver in here. It's a lot of paint on the plate, but it's fine. We can make multiple pulls with all this. Back all that up. And we'll work for about 15 more minutes. So we'll get a good 45 minutes on the jelly plate. And I'll try to get one more mixed media video in um, tomorrow or over the weekend and uh, we'll do something else. Okay, what are we doing? Let's use this. I want to use I want to use that um, that Aztec calendar again yeah 
and I'm going to go into that popper a little bit. Let's go into the popper a little bit here too. And then I know exactly what I'm going to lay right here. You guessed it, the bath mat. <laughs> this is going to be gorgeous, I think. I think. We're going to find out. So we'll use this paper again. You guys, you know what? I um, I'm I think I'm basically done with the um, Bridgerton inspired papers that I've created, printables. Um, they're my collages, and I made them. I'm gonna make them into printables. So if you want to, um, they'll be every five pages will be two dollars and fifty cents, like normal, and you can print them out yourself. And I'm gonna have like run a um, uh, like just a work along. Um. A Bridgerton work along if you like that movie Bridgerton because the uh, third one is coming up I think May 16th or something like that oh I'm so excited and I want to make a junk journal um, out of it so um, I'll share it with you guys before we end this session because a lot of times what I like to do in my journals I like to art journal and junk journal but I do just want to make a Bridgerton inspired junk journal because I love love that that TV sh I love that movie or the series really it's a series and um, I love Shonda Rhimes she's the one who produces it love her she's the one who also did um, Scandal <gasps> and How to Get Away with Murder I don't like How to Get Away with Murder as much as I love Scandal I followed Scandal for years until it finally went off one day I was so sad I was like no I was like <gasps> Scandal is over Write down below, do you like the movie Scandal? Did you like that TV show Scandal for, uh, by Shonda Rhimes? And do you like uh, Bridgerton by Shonda Rhimes? I love them both. And Scandal was on for what, maybe four or five years, I think? Oh, I looked forward to it every season. I was like, oh, Scandal's coming on. So good, so intense. Beautiful, look at that. Very pretty. Hey, honey, I'm making a video. Very, very pretty. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Let's do a couple of more. Um, just looking at my colors here. See if there's anything back here I haven't used. Okay, I haven't used this pure bronze, this pure bronze color, so let's use this one. It's not that different than the other one, but it's a little different. Uh, what is this? This is a wine color, like a purpley wine color, so let's use this. Oh, I haven't even ever opened this. Dang, how long has this been? I picked this, took this out of a bucket that I haven't looked in forever. So, that's cool and it's still good. Yay. Glad I pulled that out. Uh, I've used that. I'm just looking for things I haven't used. Okay, the silver. We haven't used the silver that much. So, let's use some silver. All right, this would be good right here.
And you know what? I have some burnt umber. Let's just throw that in here. It's a dark brown, so I don't really know. Well, it depends on what it buds up against. It'll show up if it buds up against the right color. All right. So I showed you guys my girls that I created, my Angie's Angels with the with the hats. And the reason I showed those to you too was just to show you that you know, I know it's weird that I'm doing a lot of the makeup tutorials, but it's really not any different. It's all art to me. Whether I'm doing my girls and I'm putting makeup and shading and contouring their faces, or I'm doing my art, it's all the same to me. Or I'm using my face as a canvas. It's all the same to me. Which is why I love makeup. It's just another way of doing art, but on yourself. You know? Okay, love this. No, let's just do this. Let's just do this all over. I just really, I'm feeling this. And that, in my opinion, that's the best way to work whenever you're doing art. Just try to work loose. Little things just come to you and inspire you right on the spot. Like, I wasn't going to use this all over, but then I just thought, you know what? Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to use it all over except for at the very bottom. I'm pressing that in. So at the very bottom, I'm going to use... Where is it? Where is it? I just had it. There it is. I'm going to use this. The bath mat. Shocker. So for $2.50, with that bath mat, if you buy two of them, you can get so much so many things to impress in your jelly plate. So many different designs. Let me know how many of you guys have uh, got those uh, from Jelly Print, uh, got those uh, bath mats from uh, Dollar Tree and use them on jelly plate. You know what I want to do is I saw someone who they went to Ross and they got some other bath mats with other designs. So I need to stop in right where across the street from my Dollar Tree. I have a Ross, a Marshalls. It's all in the same. A TJ Maxx, a Marshalls, an Ulta. What else is in there? Joann's, uh, Five Below. Um... Oh, what's that other one? It's an it's one, it's like a TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's like another one of those um, Burlington Coat Factory. Can you believe this? This is all in the same shopping center. That shopping center is awesome. I'm always over there. Oh, Sally's Bead Supply, and then the Professional Bead Supply is in there. Best Buy is in there. I don't go to Best Buy though too much. Ulta is in there. All that in one big, huge shopping center. Isn't that crazy? So many good stores in there. Oh, and also Bath and Body Works. Crazy. And across the street from there is Dollar Tree. And in where Dollar Tree is Hobby Lobby. It's right next to the Dollar Tree across the street. This is fabulous. And a bunch of restaurants. Pretty cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Check that out. Love it. That is so old wall. Look at that. Doesn't it look like you're looking under a microscope at something from a long time ago? I love it. Obsessed. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. Look at the design in that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. And it's not me. It's it's the uh, stencils and the stamps and the um, all the different impressions that I've gotten, but it ain't me. And the paints. That's what does the work. I just impress the things into the jelly plate, into the paint, throw paper on and tear it off. <laughs> so my next video, you guys, what I'll do is I'll do, um, I'll work in my art journal or on a piece of canvas. I'm not sure which one yet. And um, we'll use these and we'll mix them with the printables and the other jelly prints. And after they dry and I see which ones I like the most, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll make some of these. Not maybe, I will. I'll make some of these into printables. The thing about with the metallics, they don't make as good of printables because it's not metallic. Because you can't um, make printables out of metallics. It won't show up metallic. It'll show up just kind of regular. So I'll see how they turn out. And if they turn out neat, then I'll make them into printables. Very pretty. It's very old wall. I love it. This one almost looks like you're in outer space. Look at it. Isn't that cool? So pretty. Love it. Love it. Oh, this is pretty. I like this one even more. If you look at it like that, and then let's bring it up closer. Very, very pretty. Love it. And so there's a little bit left on the plate. We'll leave that. I like to leave my plate a little dirty because that just adds on to your next jelly printing session. So whatever's on here will go on the next jelly print and it just adds to it and looks really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys because we're at 45, we're at 47 minutes, of course. Um, I'm gonna show you the Bridgerton inspired uh, printables. Um, if you want to join um, the whole Bridgerton junk journaling and you could art journal with it too. You could do an art journal Bridgerton inspired art journal pages I just want to do like purely junk journal so you can do, you can join in and either do an art journal Use it for art journaling or you can turn around and you do make a junk journal out of it too Or you can do a mixture of art journaling and junk journaling. So it's all up to you But I thought it'd be kind of fun for those who really like Bridgerton for us all to do a little um, a little like collab together and you don't have to use my papers, um, but they're available if you want to. Okay, so these are all the collages I've been working on. Wait just a second. You know I got too much going on. Let me get this turned over so I don't get any paint on my printables. Okay. Oh, wait just a second. What is this? All right, this is something else. Can go over there okay so these are let me show you I want to show you these ones first just a second guys just a second okay okay here we go these ones are done um landscape wise so that um, you can print them off so you can print them off and then just fold them like this see and then fit them and use them right and just stack them in to make your junk journal and I'll have an example of how I'm making this junk journal so and what I'm gonna do too is once okay so anyway look at this one and everything kind of represents um, a lot of things on here represent uh, Bridgerton. The tea for the teapots, the queen with this crown, 
calligraphy pens because of Penelope. You know, she's Mrs. Um, what is she? You know, the gossip writer. There's more calligraphy pens. Time, because what's his name is always looking at his watch because he has to hurry up and go do something. All the roses and flowers and all the script in the background. That's for Penelope as, you know, she's that gossip writer. So. And this one, I put, okay, again, teapots, little teacups, all the bees, because you know that's how, in, the, in Bridgerton, uh, the dad died of a bee sting. And that was like, you know, he died suddenly. All the flowers in the background, all the script. Very old world looking. Again, all the roses and flowers. Because you know Bridgerton is just gorgeous with all the flowers. They're always dancing or playing music, playing the piano or dancing. So that's why I put the, the, the music notes in the background. The watch of time, teapots, again, calligraphy nibs, the queen, the crown, and all the beautiful roses. And there's some bees in here too. And these are all done horizontally so that you can just fold them. So you can fold them and then put and then make uh, signatures out of them. And on the other side, because once you print them out, the other side's going to be white, right? I would take them and copy stain them. Take a bottle of, get yourself a bottle from Dollar Tree. Get yourself some instant coffee from Dollar Tree in the kitchen section. Three-fourths cup of coffee, instant coffee, and one cup of water. Throw a little alcohol in, and that's your preservative. And spray that on the other side of it, and then you'll then you'll be able to have that'll be a side where. You, in the journal, you can either decorate that page or leave it blank or do a little bit of stamping on it. And that's where you can journal on that page or do whatever you want on that page. So it's kind of nice to have like pages like this in your, in your uh, junk journal and then have some coffee stain pages too. So, okay. So I'll kind of go through them. Now that I've kind of explained how, how I'm done a lot of these. Now these are vertical. Oh, here's some more. These are also still done landscape. Why? So you can just fold them. I thought this is really pretty with the bird and the eggs and the bees and the teacup. And the teacups here and the music notes. Just everything represents Bridgerton. All the roses and the music notes and the script. Again, and the bees. And the birds and the roses. It's just all very, in my opinion, it's very Bridgerton. Very Bridgerton. There's another one with all that stuff. This one here, remember when... Um, Queen Charlotte, she had a party. I think it was the last one, the last, the last, uh, se the last series, and or what's the first one? Oh, I think it was the first one where Daphne got married. But anyway, the mother went to the castle. And the mother went to the castle, and they were looking out, or it was at the wedding. Anyway, they looked out and they saw peacocks, but nobody knew what those were. They go, "What are those big old birds?" And she goes, do they fly? That's what Queen Charlotte was saying. And they're like, he's like, well, I can perch them and they can glide down. She goes, ugh. Like she wasn't impressed. Ugh. Peacocks are gorgeous. But during that day, it was a big deal to be having some peacocks. It's a big deal to have peacocks now. What am I saying? Anyway, there's birds here. More birds and bees and flowers everywhere. Script and uh, like love letters and music notes. So every time I saw something that related to Bridgerton, I definitely used it in my collage. There's another one. This right here is, you know how like they're always, like Anthony, he's always in his office reading ledgers. So that's a piece of ledger right here I put in here. I thought that was kind of cool. But all the same beautiful stuff. 
the birds, the uh, the script, the bees, the crowns, the beautiful flowers and roses. Okay, now the rest of these are vertical. And these um, can still be used in your journal. Um, you could make printables out of these and then um, cut them out and glue them into your journal. You can cut these up and make them into um, envelopes because I'm gonna show you how to make envelopes. You can cut these up into tags. You can use these as pages in your journal too. You just can't fold them this way because of how I did the design, but there's all kinds of stuff you can still do with these. And this is to make look real, it's a lot of the same stuff I used before, but I, I, put, a, I put paint over it, or did I do paint? I think I did a paint with a baby wipe and then did my white splatters. So it just looks real mystical. So these are all real mystical looking. Very dreamy. Isn't that pretty? And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do I'm gonna do every five pages is two bucks, you guys. Not two dollars fifty cents. We'll do two dollars. Let's make it times are rough. Let's make it more affordable. But they're not up yet. I'm still working on some things and I got to uh, make them into printables and get them on my Etsy shop. I still gotta do all that. The part that I don't like, the computer work part of it all. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. I think this is really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that one. So since you can't fold this one like you can fold the other one, what you can do is just whatever, you can cut this out the size of your paper and you can cut out what you want and then put it in that way, like here. Cut it out like this and then glue it in to your thing. Or um, you can put, you could print it out on cardstock cut it off here and this could be a pocket right here so there's so much stuff you can do with the ones that are vertical also you can cut them up and make them into tags so what I would do is I would print out on um, printer paper and then print out stuff on cardstock so that you can do all kinds of things I think this one's really really pretty Again, there's that ledger, calligraphy pen, bees, watch faces for Anthony and him and is telling the time all the time. You know how they're always waiting for a letter? And so there's the script behind it and then they put some little stamps there to represent that. There's the crown for the queen, beautiful roses. And then I put the bank of prosperity because you know how they're always having to, uh, they're always looking for someone who's rich for their daughter or for their son because they're about to go broke so i thought that'd be kind of cool to put that in there the bank of prosperity see and then the crown right on top of it and a little stamp last one so another real pretty mystical looking one So I got tons of ideas of stuff to make to put in this and um, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun little series. Um, let me know down below if this is something you're interested in so I kind of know how many people would be interested in um, joining the Bridgerton inspired junk journal, art journal, junk journal slash art journal. And do you have to participate in it? Do you have to get my printables? No. So I just want us all to celebrate Bridgerton because if you love that, you love it. <laughs> You're obsessed with it. Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, I'm on TikTok now and I'm Angie Bell on TikTok. 
All right, you guys, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys soon, and um, I'll be back either tomorrow or, or over the weekend, and we will uh, we'll either art journal or do a canvas with the new uh, jelly prints we just did. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.